welcome to Markovina Estate. We're just about to start an open day here on a sunny January afternoon. I thought I'd give you a quick tour for those who can't make it. Have a look at our grounds and see what we're up to. Come through. Now if you're here in person, you'd be able to enjoy a glass of bubbly or sparkling grape juice as we start. And then for those who are new to the venue, we'd take you on a tour of our garden locations for your ceremony. So let's have a look at those. Now our first location is in front of our two cowries and we've got a few chairs set up and you can see a bit of a sneak peek view through there and as we walk around I'll give you more of an idea of what that looks like. But let's see our uh, chestnut tree come through. Our chestnut tree is definitely really popular. Out here all by itself there are just a handful of chairs set up but of course all of our locations can be sort of the, there's about 40 chairs set up at the moment, but they can easily hold over 200 people if required. But let's have a look at our cherry blossom, which is actually our newest ceremony location, which is about two years old and it's really coming into its own. It looks like we've got a few early people that are having a bit of a tour, so we'll just shoot past them um, so you can see what it's all about. Come through. So in today's setup, the use some of our lanterns and one of our signs, which you're welcome to make use of, just to help personalise it for your special day. And today's setup here has been done by Sony, one of our Mundup companies who come here quite a bit. The beauty of this particular space is you can either have a central location and have chairs going all the way around, or the more traditional with the cherry blossoms in the background. And of course, if you love your cherry blossoms, coming in at sort of October would be a great time. And the beauty of this place is we've also got this beautiful field where you can take photos of being lost in the wilderness. Right, should we have a look at a few more locations? We've got a bit of a closer look at our two cowries here. And you'll notice in the background, you can see a little bit of the pond, a little bit of the boat, but we get a much better look if we go around and have a look at it from the other side. So follow us through. Now today's setup is actually in front of our pebble beach at the moment, um, but the bit that I love with this space in particular are those wonderful opportunities from a photographer. And if we walk through and look at this lovely line down through the pond, you can either jump in the boat if you're keen or on the jetty. And as you've got the schist from the building behind, we've just had some stunning photos. And also if you're bringing a drone along, there's been some beautiful shots of our couples in the boats. Now today we've got set up, as I said, in front of the Pebble Beach. However, you also have the look in front of our um, palms. So many different options in this space. But come through, there's a couple more to see and quite a popular one that we're going to next because in summer when it's hot like this, under the shade's beautiful. Come through. Now I've got some beautiful flowers that have been done by Wildly Madly Deeply who have themed this area here, which looks stunning in front of the barrel waterfall. But we've also just put a few chairs up in front of the barrels to show that that can also be a ceremony spot. But maybe we can come through and then we can show you what it looks like from a little bit further back. So as you can see, it's just stunning through there. Now as you can see, we've got a little bit of live music from Hands Off playing in the gardens which is lovely just to sort of set the scene. Now we won't pop in now, but we do have a small uh, bridal room in here. Got the key things, bathroom, air conditioning, and um, your couch and mirrors. So a little space that you can freshen up or hide away in if you need. But let's have a look at the backup option for if the weather's not so kind for you or you're planning a winter wedding. 
So, as you can see here, we do have a few of our suppliers here. Cinematic and Creative, of course, and one of our photographers, Jeff. But in normal terms, as you can see, this is a beautiful spot as a backup for your ceremony. Um, small number set up there at the moment, but if you had up to 100, they'd be comfortably in this area, or we can use this whole space right the way through um, for up to 200 guests seated for a ceremony. A few other suppliers here, but if we have a quick look inside the main space, We've set up just a sample of tables to give you an idea of what the place can look like. Um, and of course, things like the vintage lights, the greenery, fairy light curtain, all just part of our standard setup. So I think it looks pretty nice at the moment. Now, I'm not too sure of what sort of menu you're going to be planning, but we can do sharing platters, plated, or if you're choosing a buffet, I'll show you where that gets set up. So we make sure that there's a lot of space in this area here, so that your guests can move through really quickly, and then out through the carvery, and then out into the main space, so you don't see it being set up or packed away. So, it's a really good flow for what can be a really nice dinner for you. So, I hope that you've enjoyed the tour here and hopefully one day you'll be able to come visit us. We can arrange tours most days including the weekend so I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching.